There's news is breaking this noon as police are clearing the scene of the Jewish Community Center in DeWitt. And this comes after the putting the building on lockdown for much of the morning. Now, the center was targeted by two bomb threats back in January as part of a nationwide sting. Investigators say on the scene today, however, this morning's lockdown was not the result of a bomb threat. News Channel 9's Beth Cephalou joins us now from JCC. She's been there since this morning. Beth, what's happening right now? Well, Jennifer, the lockdown has been lifted and police have left the area. They started clearing the scene here at the JCC on Thompson Road. Once the center reopened at about 1115, that's when officers were able to determine that there was no threat here. Now, officers are describing this as a, quote, violent threat. It came in by telephone call around 945 this morning. That's when this building went into lockdown. Police rushed here and searched both inside and outside of the area. Now, once they figured out that there was no scene, uh, no scene, no threat to the area, that's when the lockdown was lifted and people were allowed to leave. Among the people inside, though, when this all unfolded, was our own chief storm team meteorologist, Jim Teske, who joins us now live. So, Jim, first, describe to us exactly what happened when that lockdown went into place. I was, uh, I was at the fitness center. I was uh, running at the time, and then they came on the intercom, and they just said, you know, we're going into lockdown, everyone shelter in place. And, you know, people have had the issues with the bomb threat here, so I think people were used to that. And everyone, you know, just kind of calmly went about their business. I know, you know, I finished my workout. A lot of other people finished their workout as well. From where you were, could you see what police were doing? And if so, can you describe what the investigation looked like? Yeah, I was I was on the track, which looks up and over everything. And, and so I was able to see, you know, police in the parking lot. They were looking in cars uh, and they brought in some uh, dogs as well. And they were going car by car, checking things out. Uh, the other thing I'll mention that, that they did, when they did let us go, they had us sign our name on a piece of paper. So I guess they want everyone's name who was at the JCC this morning. Perfect. And lastly, I wanted to know is did you find out or did police make any sort of indication while you were in there as to what this threat might have been? No, but I, there was a sense that it wasn't a bomb threat. No one specifically said that, but the, the protocol seemed a little different. The last two times people were evacuated. This time people were put in place and told not to move. So there was a sense that it was a little different this time. All right, well, Jim, thank you so much for joining us on this afternoon. Now, again, we want to reiterate, we don't know exactly what this violent threat police are describing was or who the person was behind the phone call made to the JCC. But this investigation ongoing, again, this is the third threat so far this year at this facility. And once we know more, you'll know more. We'll have updates as they become available from police online at localsar.com and on News Channel 9 starting at 5. Jennifer? All right, Beth, thanks so much again to what police.